Okay, one thing you'll notice about this war, you'll start thinking about what bases can't be three-starred. Um, and I think one of the key challenges here is um, how to design for that. Now, just looking at this base, we've got something with um, corner air defences. They're about sort of middle depth. They're not sort of uh, they're not really deep where they're all in range of each other, but they're not really shallow either. Um, so that's sort of a mid depth with corner ads. Um, mid depth with corner ads means you just um, don't get the nice routing. You know, um, you can probably freeze those two, maybe those two together. Um, but the advantage of what he's done here is with these wide whiz towers, he's got uh, this has got one whiz tower which is actually useful where it's got no ADs in range. Trouble is it's very shallow and so easy to pick off with just a a um, a, a, a distraction drop. Um, then it wouldn't hit the main sort of bunch. But you know at least um, we've got we've got a base here with a whiz tower that's actually useful. Um, now in terms of this raid. Um, I actually think the best way to hit this base is with uh, a two golem hero drop with some wizards to clear out this side, bust this pocket, jump over here, um, or come straight through to the inferno. You probably got a double bomb there, um, so you just you'd have to leave. You, you drop your king late, make sure the golems or the king trigger the double bomb before you actually activate the king. Um, otherwise, you lose all your barbs, um, and you kill the inferno there, and the queen would kill, um, clean up that air defence. Maybe you'll clear that air defence too, but if you drop your depends where you drop your jump, I guess. You could drop your jump here and then you probably um, kill this air defence too. Um, the way this has um, been shown before, what they're going to do here is they attack from a corner, which means they just take out the two air defences, don't get an inferno, but because of just great spell placement and the loon drop, the raid comes off. So let's have a look at the raid. So with this, so uh, dropping golem and some wizards and stuff to clear out the side, another golem, a minion, to so clear out all the stuff around here, they'll drop the king fairly late once the golems come in, I should presume, so let the golems take the heat, queen's been activated, should pop over the wall any second, hopefully, but they'll put a jump, I think here on this type of raid, yeah, around right about there, and so that way the queen is not protected, drop the king fairly late to come in, that way the golems are taking the heat from the clan castle troops, the queen's at the back, king comes in late, now, the, now the, queen, the king will be activated, kill the queen, and the queen should have enough to kill those two air defences, and that's the opening salvo for the raid. So, come on queen, couple of skeletons, you can see how well the skeletons work there, and uses the queen ability and that takes out the air defense and the archer tower. So that's the opening salvo for the raid. And now, um, one, two, three, probably drop the lava. One, two, three. Oh, okay, you missed some there. One, two, three, four. So fairly heavy drops compared to usual. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. And, um, probably because he's got a lot of defense there. And he wants to just close it in all on that inferno, freezes that, raids the minion. You'll notice the inferno is at the end, edge of the rage. And they will rage in and wipe that inferno. So um, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, they've come straight across. He's just frozen early enough that those balloons have come over, and they hopefully will kill that inferno. So just early enough on that freeze for this raid to come off. That um, had been any later, the raid probably wouldn't have come off. That inferno would have survived and killed the rest of the balloons. So I was uh, I'm probably a bit lacking on the timing there, or well, not. There was skill in it, but it was probably a bit late on the um, freeze there in terms of the raid. But you can see fairly, you know, you're seeing lots and lots of drops. Um, you see, always, see, you'll always see a rage with the inferno at the end of it. They come, the umbrella, the sort of side, so all the loons um, are approaching on the inferno. And you can see, so like you'll see a lot of common elements of these raids now, and hopefully um, with a bit of practice, you're starting to um, pick up these things in all of your raiding.